Now to that false rape charge, one year in prison. That sentence tonight for the woman who falsely accused two football players from Sacred Heart University in Connecticut of rape. The students say what she did has changed their lives forever, even though they have been cleared of all wrongdoing. Those two students were never arrested, never charged with any crime, but the accusation was serious enough, so much so they say they had to leave school, their reputation in tatters. Well, my life has been altered and shaped in ways that nobody here could imagine. When the police investigation revealed sexual activity had occurred, but was consensual, prosecutors say Yuvino made up the rape claim because she didn't want to upset another student she was interested in. Let me get this straight. She falsely accused two men because she didn't want to piss off her actual boyfriend? She ruined two young lives for her own selfish decisions. They can't play football anymore. They will always be seen as a rapist who forced an innocent woman when really, she slept with both of them. She chose to do that. I'll never understand why these women can get away with horrendous crimes like this. She gets one year in prison, she's already out. While she's having a sweet time, these guys will never be the same. Would you take this deal, okay? The coronavirus lasts longer and is more severe but Trump is guaranteed out of office in November. Oh gosh, yeah, I would definitely take that deal. What if it went to a million people that die from coronavirus? Would you still take the deal? Sure, yeah, get them out. Let's go. If your sister or father passed away from the coronavirus, would you still take that deal? For sure, yeah, absolutely. You know, if you voted for Biden because you really thought he was going to be a better president than Trump, I can truly respect that. If you voted for Biden because you hate Trump for no reason, when you can't even name one reason why you despise Trump, then I will look at you differently. The intelligence of modern people is astronomically low, and we can all see why. Y'all know who Andrew Tate is? Yeah. How do y'all feel about him getting arrested? Right. Good feelings about him getting arrested. Good feelings. Yeah, same. Do y'all like him at all? No. Why? What do you think? Misogyny. Um, misogyny. Yeah. What about you? Misogyny. Really? Can you define misogyny for me? are you doing? <laughs> I'm just asking you to define misogyny. Probably not. I just had four classes back to back. Oh, okay. So that's affecting like... My brain. I just know. Oh, you Don't know. like Andrew but, Tate. But you know what it means. But you know. Can you define it? No. I'm tired too. <laughs> if you're stupid and you're so brainwashed by the media, just say that. You will look less dumb than actually saying this person is a misogynist without knowing the definition of misogynist. Hi, welcome in. You must be Michaela's mom. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, I, I was really looking forward to this prank conference. Have a seat. You see that comment to the right? Yeah, I'm serious. I walk into that room and I see this guy is my child's teacher. I'm taking them out of the class. I never told my husband that the baby isn't his. <laughs> That's heavy stuff. You have this life with someone who I guess and who you love. All of that can mean nothing if you just tell them this one thing. I remember telling this girl I used to talk to that if she tells me she's pregnant, that I'm going to want a DNA test. After that, she looked at me differently and we fell off. She wasn't a hoe or anything like that. I'm just very defensive and take every step to protect myself against modern women. Men should have the right to get a DNA test for the baby. Man, a woman bring life. Y'all yeah, don't. How do you get that life? Go in the hospital and get a sperm well, donor. You don't need a man. You still need a man. You need a physical woman to bear a child for you. And y'all need I. No, a physical don't. sperm. We need sperm. Where does it come I from? from the hospital. That's what right now. Give it to From a man. If yeah. a physical man didn't Listen. go to that hospital, it yeah, would not yeah. be there. But you need you a carry physical a kid. woman that, to Listen, have somebody a child. Puts in you. you cannot argue or debate with people like this. I don't know if they truly believe they're in the right or they know they're wrong, so they will say anything to argue. How much do you expect your guy to make a year? At least seven yeah. figures. Seven figures at least. Do you know how difficult it is to make seven yes, figures? Absolutely, I do. I honestly, we deserve it. Seven. <clears throat> this is an honest question. Why are these women that are so massively obese, old, or have a body count that shows how much of a hoe she is, actually believe they deserve the rich guys? You don't deserve it, you earn it. Just like the men that earn their wealth, you earn a man like that. They said seven figures, that is minimum one million dollars. The Logan Police Department investigating a possible false sexual assault accusation that led to a man's death. Well, in other words, you're saying, like, I think what happened to women is wrong, so I'm gonna do it to men because it feels good. Why should I take you seriously as a person if that's the case? You're well, I, I, social injustice is not okay, but she's saying it happens to women all the time. So men are finally getting a taste of it. Women are finally getting a little bit of power. So now if men are starting to feel a little bit of the pain, welcome to our club. This is why I don't believe women when they say they've been violated. 
Look, I know this wrong of me to say, but how can I believe anyone when these lying crappy people lie and ruin innocent lives? Look at this disgusting feminist pretty much saying, oh well, it works for us. <laughs> Obviously there's been some flags going off for other girls to make them avoid the situation. So, I mean, like I personally would be like more, more inclined to want to go on a date, at least a first date. With a guy who's... Well, the guy who's like normal, yeah, who's like hooking up with girls and I'm hooking up with guys, like, I mean, I feel like that's dating in 2022, like. It's unfortunate how broken so many people are. It's clear to me this girl has been run through so much that she thinks everyone out here is getting late. That most guys are with multiple women. That cannot be further from the truth. I'm not complaining about dumb women like this. Let them show their true colors. Makes it easier to avoid. White people that aren't like serial killers like Ted Bundy. Does your mom say you have to be LGBT? Um, no. no. I think she's what I want to be, but some. T Come but. On. Go ahead, go ahead. Keep talking. Say what you're saying. Um, my mom doesn't matter if I'm up if I am gay or lesbian or any of that. She doesn't care. All she cares about is that I'm a part of it. And if I'm not a part of it, she'll try to convince me to uh, um, get, join it. Cause I. What are you saying right now? Did he just say? Oh, what the hell did he just say? Uh, facts. That I would convince you to join what? The LGBTQIA plus community. Listen, if you don't know, kids do not lie. They will rip you into pieces telling you the truth. If they think you're the ugliest person they have ever seen, they will tell you the fact that this kid said that he was not wrong. Also, LGBTQIA+. I just say alphabet community. That is way too many letters to be saying every time you mention it. I see this sign here that says God is, is pro-life. What does that mean? God is pro-life? Yeah. That's, that's just what it means, yes. God created life. Didn't God kill everybody on Earth except for Noah and, and some farm animals on an ark? I'm sorry. D didn't God kill everybody on Earth? I love how he mentioned God killing everyone on Earth, but fails to mention the fact that God gave people 120 years to believe and go to Noah. Genesis 6 verse 3, And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with men forever, for he is indeed flesh yet his days shall be 120 years. Now you guys tell me if there's some context clues that I'm not getting. Maybe it means something else. Let me take a picture. Hi buddy! <laughs> Educational purposes! There we go! I don't know what this is, but if I'm seeing people recording my toddler like this, I'm swinging at somebody. What is this? Maybe you guys know. wedding worth hundreds of thousands of dollars skedaddle leave that is a red flag disguised as a human being that woman will ruin your life or at least leave if you become broke she's not even all that good looking to begin with yeah, okay hold on I would, I would, like, come on. respectfully did you do your research that dude's actually fighting for his freedom right now they're not really giving him like a fair shake in court i mean i don't know enough about the situation personally so like but I you can't sat here like I... before you knew what i told you you sat here and you said that he's like a fascist yeah. she has a really extreme view of like what does fascist mean do you know the definition of fascist a fascist is like an extreme like suppressor of women and like i don't know are no, you there's, true I, so. Remember guys, these people are allowed to vote and go on the internet. I'm just being honest here. In order to vote, you should have at least an IQ of 80 if you want to vote. At the very least. Again, different people mature at different I don't ways. even know why I'm humoring you. No, no 12 year old can possibly consent to sex with an adult. That's called pedophilia. I think there are exceptions. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Do you subscribe to the notion that, the popular notion that sex is harmful to children? that you would want to censor pornography from your children. You don't want them to see it. You think sex is 100%. evil. 100%. Pornography for children? You want children seeing pornography? Have you, you read have any, any idea what pornography is doing to kids in this culture? I think sex is not something should be vilified. Yo, keep this man away from kids. If he thinks sexualizing 12 year olds isn't a big deal, then he needs to be watched. Just from what he said, he's a ticking time bomb and it's not a matter of if, only when. Going back to that dichotomy yeah, of adults don't and even, child, how do we define that definition? Like that. How do we actually define that edge? Right. It's such a simple thing. 
the only people who should have sex are consenting adults. Am I bugging out? Maybe you guys can let me know if I'm bugging out. What does it say if a girl has 100 body counts? What does that say about her? Okay, my sister's married. She has dick every single night. So what's the difference between a bitch that gets the same dick every night than a different dick every night? It don't matter. It's the same amount of dick. Huh? He's a 10, but he has an Android phone. What's his new rating? One. Android, I, I can't do. I just can't do it. A zero. <laughs> It, you lose. It's box with a question mark after box with a question mark. I don't have time for that. And I'm not doing WhatsApp either. I feel like an Android user is a nerd. If you don't have an iPhone, you're a nerd. A 10. Still a 10. Doesn't matter. Yeah, 10. Phone's just a phone. Yeah, phone's a phone. At this point, I'm concerned about the stupidity of these females. You will reject the man because he has an Android? I'm not even mad. Show your stupidity so people can avoid you. But wow. It's so obvious that most women lack decision making. At least that last girl had a brain, which definitely made her look more attractive. Topic that won't seem to die, so let me make something very clear. If you buy the Hogwarts Legacy game, you are contributing to transphobia. Even if you consider yourself an ally, even if you yourself are trans, you are contributing to transphobia. And that is not an opinion, it's a fact. Hey, I'm not mad about it. Guys, what game should I buy to send first? The Last of Us for PC or Hogwarts? I have no problem buying Hogwarts. I always thought Harry Potter was gay anyway. Getting on a stick to fly around, chasing balls, saying something to shoot something out of a stick. Maybe I looked at the entire franchise the wrong way. I have a question for you. Yes, ask so, me. So, don't you think your child, your baby girl, it's a girl, right? Yes. Don't you think your baby girl is going to have, like, daddy issues if you never get married Ooh. again? Or oh, that's on her. Don't. <laughs> you, what? what? Yo. That's you're I'm right. living my authentic life so that in the future she but, can live her authentic but, life. Wow. This is why I'm very careful when it comes to me choosing the mother of my kids. This woman is so selfish, she doesn't care how hard things will be for her child. You have kids trying to commit suicide because their parents are on OnlyFans or legit porn stars. Look at her face like it's really not her problem. Disgusting. Why is dating so hard? What do you mean hard? Do you know what hard means? Yeah, like Difficult, why, like, Ashley, that, difficult. Why do you think dating is hard? I wouldn't say it's hard. I feel like that's like an opinion. Why do you think it's easy? Say men are easy. <laughs> men are easy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to keep right. doing it. Why is it easy for you? Because men are just easy to easy. Translation: She is young. She's fit, and she's very beautiful. That means getting laid is not hard for her at all. But is it easy to stay in a committed relationship? That's not so easy. Because men are desperate, and they'll talk to any woman that looks their way, but women will find the right man to let like Max. them talk to them. So okay, you're partially right. Some men are for sure desperate. Most men think with their dicks instead of their brain. But you over here bashing men like you're staying young forever. Go ahead and hit your 30s. And if you're still single by then, let's see how desperate you are. Trump just announced his horrifying plan for LGBTQ people if he's re-elected president. Here's my plan. First, he'll erase trans adults. The only genders recognized by the United States government are male and female. And they are assigned at birth. Then he'll erase trans kids. If any teacher or school official suggests they could be trapped in the wrong body, will be faced with severe consequence. He'll out all trans kids to their parents. Protect the rights of parenting forced to allow their minor child to assume a gender which is new. He'll try to make their medicine illegal. We'll investigate Big Pharma and whether they have deliberately covered up horrific long-term side effects of sex transition to get rich. And of course, he'll erase gay people too. We will promote positive education about the nuclear family, the roles of mothers and fathers, and celebrating rather than erasing the things that make men and women women different and unique in what world is this a bad thing the alphabet community are ruining the children of this country in more ways than i can explain telling these children they're trapped in the wrong bodies can confuse them to a degree where they'll believe these lies kids shouldn't go to school for this crap they go to school for an education which proves to be useless at this point what the hell is so bad about the nuclear family the divorce rate is so high that it makes people think twice about getting married i'm hearing trump is being indicted but everywhere i look it explains a different reason i don't want another four years of biden Four more years just brings us closer to the end of the country. How do you want your man to act? I want a man who is stable enough for himself where he doesn't have his own insecurities and can just have fun, do what I want to do, and doesn't disrespect the boundaries between him and I. So if he sets a boundary where he's like, okay, no more girls nights, or this is too revealing for me, would you have a conversation with him or would you like break up with him and say get fucked? 
I get I don't get told what to do if it's doing something that is too provocative for him without cheating that's his own insecurity I'm sorry but if you're going to the club and you're getting drunk and you're dancing on a bunch of different guys and you don't consider that cheating then I don't know what to tell you other than you're a walking red flag these are the same girls that would consider their boyfriend liking another girl's picture as cheating. How long have you guys been dating for? A little over two years now. Do you guys think it's possible to have guy friends when you're in a relationship? I don't think so. Guys just have different intentions. What do you think? I don't have a problem with it. Okay, so we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to pick a card from this game. They have some risky texts in here. And basically, I'm going to have you call one of your closest guy friends and see how they react. How does that sound? Sounds good. Let's do this thing. I got a question. Uh, shoot. Do you care if I sleep over tonight? My mom's uh, like been up my ass Shit, i mean yeah probably but like don't you got a boyfriend yeah but i mean we're just friends right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. my my apartment's messy as fuck i got cat hair all over the couch and shit so like you probably have to like sleep in my room with me for real okay all right bet. all right <laughs> see you later bye What do you think? You know, I think it's just weird that, you know, he wants you to stay in his bed with him. Um, so could you just, like, block him now? No, that's so mean. He's my best friend. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this level of acting is the type where you see it on a porn video. But don't be fooled. There are men trying to get with your girl, and they'll be as deceiving as one can be to succeed. Digital, man. You ever seen a clock before? No. Okay. Uh, 712? Sure. Is it 1210? 1210. 1209? Yeah, you're close. No, 9.25. 9.25. Close, you're five minutes off. Oh. I think it's 9.02. 9.02? 2.09. Okay. Look, I understand we're living in a digital world. I'm not going to lie, it took me five seconds to tell the time. I got so used to smart devices that I almost forgot about analog technology. Is this not sexualizing the interaction between a parent and child? Because I'm, actually, yeah. it's just a parent's job to change a nappy, isn't it? It's just a normal, natural, innocent thing. I, I'm very confused about how this would become a sexual issue. So, for example... Because you're talking about consent, which is implying but, but that parents is... are doing something... You need to ask the baby permission to change their diapers? What response are you expecting? Why are we even giving these morons the chance to speak? So, how did your little boy age three months communicate to you that it was okay to change his nappy? It's, it's not the okay, it's the respect. How do they give consent? Well, that you can see in a body, in, in the body energy of any so, so human what would he, being. So talk me through it, show me what he would well, do. Well, if, if a baby... Um, it... She just keeps deflecting, she doesn't answer the question. She even contradicted herself saying babies can't speak. I like innocent women. No, you like inexperienced women because it's easier for you to manipulate and gaslight them into submission. You're a covert pedophile that drives off the power imbalance that shouldn't exist in a relationship. Innocent woman? You mean like virgins? So if I'm with a 25 year old woman and she really is a virgin, that would make me a pedophile? In what world would that make sense? No, it would mean I got with a woman who saved herself for the man she wants to marry, which every woman should have done. The nerve of these women, just because the man you want doesn't want someone as old as you, doesn't mean they're pedos. She's not that old, but they are younger and better looking women for sure. I don't waste my time on nothing. People who play video games have no lives. I've always said this, so if you're out there playing little me, 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 get alive! I'm sorry, what? You destroyed the talent you had to beat this lazy, fat, disgusting sack of grease. Who the hell are you to criticize other people when you're showing in your life like a pathetic moron? Women do not care about the struggle. They wait at the finish line and fuck the winners. I'm not waiting for anyone. Okay. Fuck your struggle. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I waste my SMV years on a guy that's just potential? Why would a guy that makes a lot of money waste his time to get with you when he could get someone with a great personality and hasn't been run through by the entire continent? Here's a fun fact. The average adult man has a 0.0002281% chance of being falsely accused of rape but a 0.0033% chance of getting hit by a comet. Men are quite literally more likely to be hit by a comet than be falsely accused of rape. I don't know where she got her research from, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Men are being falsely accused every day. 
when was the last time someone got hit by a comment? More and more women are falsely accusing innocent men so much that little girls think this is okay. I want to talk to the kids. Parents watch the video and then hand the phone over to the young kids. Hi there. Um, I get asked a lot, are you a boy or a girl? And I love that question. And so I wanted to just tell you, sometimes human beings are more than boy or girl. Sometimes we're something else. Sometimes we're both. Sometimes um, we kind of float in between. And sometimes we're a boy. Sometimes we're a girl. Because um, human beings are creatures. And we're wild and exciting. People like this shouldn't be talking to kids. For the parent who allowed their kids to watch this thing. Teach your children about these lies. You're also contributing to the problem. Kids are growing up thinking they're trapped in the wrong bodies. You know there are so many kids that are so confused with their lives that they delete themselves? Right? I see this man talking to my kids. He would catch the beating of his life. I will body slam him with the strength of a thousand legendary Super Saiyans.